Hey friends, today we're going to do a quick Inkscape tutorial on how to curve your text using the lattice deformation tool. So let's get right into it. The menus that we're going to be using today are text. So go ahead and open up your text and font. Go to object, align and distribute, and path, path effects. So these are the three menus that we're really going to be using today. You can drag that and open it up right there. Hit T for text. And lock your caps and type EAT. And hit another space and type REPEAT. Hit F1 to go back to this as a shortcut for your selector tool. Eat, sleep, and repeat. Let's go ahead and select the font we want. So just drag over everything to select everything at once. Text and font. I'm going to use Bumble because I like how it looks bubbly at the bottom. And apply. So now what we want to do is just kind of resize these. Select your first word. Hit Control and Shift to resize it equally. And let's make that bigger. So what I like to do first is just kind of make them all the same height, okay? I don't worry about the width right now. And grab that and make that bigger. Okay, so they're all just about the same height. Now let's look at the width. So we're just going to scale this down a little bit. Now, of course, you can do this however you want. And I'm going to widen E just a little bit. And maybe make it a little more narrow. All right, go ahead and drag your cursor over everything. Let's go to that align and distribute. And we want everything to distribute equally between the three. So now there's an equal amount of space between these words. All right. Now's the time to change the color if you want. So I already have a few colors that I'm going to use. We're going to select our first word. Hit D for dropper. That's a shortcut for the dropper tool over here. Pick the color that you want. F1. Select the next word. Hit D for dropper. Select another color. F1. Select your third word. Hit D and pick the color you want. Hit F1. And I also want to put a little outline around my words. So I'm going to select my word, come down here, hold shift, and select this gray color. Hold shift and select that gray color. That's it. Okay, so now I think I have my words where I want them. I'm going to select everything and Go to path, object to path. So now all these words are a path. So now they can be changed and warped. And we want to group all of this together. So we're going to hit control G. All right. Now let's go to path effects. Hit that plus button, lattice deformation. All right. We're just going to leave all of these settings like they are. Hit F2. That's a shortcut for your edit by nodes. Now we see all of these white nodes here. We're going to zoom in, hit control and scroll up, zoom in a little bit. Now you just go ahead and start dragging these little diamonds any direction that you want to. So you can pull it over any way. I kind of start in the middle and then just go from there. Once you play with this, you'll figure out how you want yours exactly to look and make it super cute. Pull that down. So now the word is pretty big at the bottom, but I want this one to be smaller. You can pull these down on the sides. Okay, so if you accidentally select something that you didn't want to select, you want to hit F1. Just select everything again and 
go back to edit by nodes and you're right back in where you were. So don't worry, you didn't mess anything up. All right, when you think you've got everything how you want it, hit F1 and there you go. When you wanna um, save it, go to file, save as, then you're gonna type in however you wanna save it and you can save it as an Inkscape SVG, a plain SVG. Um, you can save it as a PDF. But while you're working this, remember to save and save often guys because sometimes Inkscape crashes and then you don't wanna lose all of your hard work. All right, thanks for tuning in. See you next time.